Hey guys, it's Zine Dark Sky here with another trailer reaction, and this time we have the new Pokemon Snap official gameplay overview trailer. We've watched, I've, I've reacted to a couple Pokemon Snap trailers now at this point. I'm, I'm into it. I'm already going to get it for sure. I used to play Pokemon Snap back in the day. But I'm, I, I obviously I want to see where they're going with this in terms of gameplay and new gameplay mechanics. So this is a perfect time to release this and really, you know, let some of us old school players know, hey, this is how, you know, this is going to play or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and just get right into this because this is a little bit of a longer uh, gameplay overview thing. Usually they're about six minutes and this is six minutes, 40 seconds. So it's right up the alley. So we're just going to go ahead and get into it and uh, see what we can learn. New Pokemon Snap. Welcome to the Lentil Region. Here, dense jungles and beaches are complemented by vast deserts across a range of gorgeous islands. In this region, wild Pokemon thrive. That's where you come in. As a Pokemon photographer, you'll explore these natural habitats at the request of Professor Mirror to research Pokemon, and yes, take photos of them too. Okay, so so far, pretty, pretty similar. The Neo One, which will steer you where you need to go. To control the camera, simply tilt your system or controller. At the ready now, got one. Be on the lookout for crucial moments to capture. After each expedition, Professor Mirror will evaluate your photos. So get out there! Head to a variety of areas to discover Pokémon and their behaviors. Who knows what you'll find as you create your very own Pokémon photo deck. <laughs> Pokémon photographers keep plenty of helpful items on hand. This is Fluff Fruit. Toss some near a Pokemon to lure them in for a photo op while they snack. Throw a fluff fruit to a Pokemon to get their attention. Okay. Pretty sure that ha that was in the old game. Vary. Who knows what'll happen next? <laughs> oh. Introducing. Illumina orbs. Use an Illumina orb on a Pokemon. Yeah, I think this is new. Illumina phenomenon. Pokemon glowing with the Illumina phenomenon are visibly overflowing with life energy. That means you may get to witness something truly extraordinary. Try tossing one at a crystal bloom sometime. They're native to these islands, and by interacting with them, you may discover <laughs> something new. Listen up. Play the melody to see how Pokemon react. They may even dance. That's cute. I like that. Don't forget to scan. Your research camera can scan your environment. This function may help you detect hidden Pokemon and inspect elements of your surroundings. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Some I don't think that was. I don't think that was the there before. And signal. Maybe some variation of it that With would tell you what the Pokemon like these, were. You'll be capturing photos of surprising Pokemon behaviors before you know it. Whoa, heads up! Itching to snap some shots? Here are a few ways to encounter Pokemon. We just introduced the scan function, which lets you analyze unusual things in your surroundings, but it can also help uncover paths you'd otherwise pass right by. That's cool. From this perspective, you can view new I like them. take photos of Pokemon from different angles, and add new aspects of their ecology to your research. Keep it up! As you continue to research an area, your research level there will increase. When your research level increases, you may get to witness new Pokemon or access new routes. Okay. I think that was pretty similar to the old game. Once you did certain stuff, you could go back and get new stuff, new encounters. Notice the distinct markings on the bodies of Illumina Pokemon. Who knows? 
Maybe your research will uncover the mystery behind these mystifying Pokémon. But what about your photo scores? Well, they're based on your subject's poses, how large they appear, and where they fall in frame, among other factors. Each photo will earn one to four stars. Hmm, okay. This rating indicates how common or how rare a behavior is in one of your photos. Sometimes it's quite the challenge to earn high scores or four-star photos, but hopefully these tips will help you out. Did you know you can edit your photos? <laughs> when you're about to save a photo to your album, you can adjust the brightness, blur, zoom, and other aspects of your photos. You can even adjust the photo's focal point so that a Pokemon is framed in the center. Feel free to adjust your photos to your liking. <laughs> I didn't even see that before. Once you've got some photos saved to your album, you can add stickers, frames, and filters via the photo editing mode. It's nice to it's add cute. a personal touch. Cute. Any photo can be customized until it's totally rad. Or totally hilarious. No matter what, they're your photos. So make them your own. Connect online with trainers around the globe. Try sharing your favorite photos in-game on your page. You can also send sweet medals on photos you like and receive them too. That's and pretty cool. And there's a ranking system like as well. Kind of got a social so media aspect to it. Photography skills and try to get your photos ranked. You won't believe all the unexpected Pokemon habitats and behaviors there are in the Lentil region. We can't wait for you to take in this breathtaking Ooh. region with your own eyes. Your photo decks is waiting for your next masterpieces. New Pokemon Snap, available April 30th. April 30th, only on the Nintendo Switch system. Okay, April 30th, you pre-order it now. Uh, that's not too far away, 13 days from recording this. I'm recording this on the 17th. This will probably go up uh, this week sometime, but this is, uh... It's cool. Uh, there's a lot of mechanics that are obviously coming back. Pokemon Snap, the original Pokemon Snap, didn't really have a whole lot of problems with it necessarily. So, you know, it's not... It's not like, you know, you come into this game, or you, you, um, you're coming into this game and they're going to change a whole lot. They obviously are adding a lot of stuff, but it doesn't really seem like they took anything away. You know, you've always had the ability to capture certain encounters, and once you come back through, there's new encounters, or maybe you have new gear that... um or a new item or something that will initiate a new type of encounter if you use it correctly or whatever. And I believe there were different routes on the old Pokemon Snap as well here. So, you know, that kind of stuff is fairly, you know, fairly similar to the way it was. But, uh, you know, they have that Lumia orb and everything like that. And that's that's going to definitely change the game, especially with the, you know, just the pictures and stuff. I really like the social media aspect that they're adding here just because I'm... I like getting ranked, you know, I like I like high scores and being ranked and all that kind of stuff. So it, it's it's it definitely makes it cooler to me being able to being able to be like, all right, cool. You know, like uh, I'm you know, I'm ranked whatever, you know, I've got a million points or a million sweet points or what, however you get ranked or whatever, you know. So I'm actually pretty interested in it. Um, tell me what you guys think down below in the comments if you're excited for this or Maybe if you're curious if they're going to bring something back or not, um, down in the comments below. Be sure to hit the like button if you are excited for the game. Share this video around so people will get to see the trailer, get to see a reaction from somebody who has played the old Pokemon Snap game. Because maybe you're, some of your friends are a little bit younger and you haven't played it and you you know, were curious what an older person who had played the, uh, played the old game. Uh, be sure to hit that sub button because 90% of you guys aren't subbed and it hurts my feelings. Also, we're so close to 250 fo uh, subs, guys. We're like two away. Maybe, hopefully, by the time this video comes out, we would have hit that. If not, be sure to hit the sub button to help us get there. Obviously, the big goal is like to 1,000. If we can get to 1,000 subs on YouTube, dude, it'd blow my mind. But uh, either way, thank you guys so much. I appreciate everybody for watching. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Good gaming.